So what is going on with War Thunder? Well, I won't go into details because my massive scatter brain and this is like take 21 of uh, of this. I'll leave uh, links to a lot of other people's videos and Reddit posts about what is actually going on. And I'll just give you a short thing here and what I think they need to do. So a little time ago, Gaijin announced some changes to the economy of the game that was once again going to make it worse. It was going to take longer to progress, it was going to take longer to unlock things, it was going to take longer to uh, build up the silver you needed to unlock shit. Uh, and people seem to have hit just a brick wall. They seem to have just have flooded over. Um, people had enough. Because this has been going on for years. This is not the first time they've done this. Um, for many, many years now, they've been nerfing the rewards that you get so much so, but it just takes longer and longer. Obviously, so you're more incentivized to um, pay for it. And mind you, this is with premium paying monthly. Um, even with premium, it takes fucking forever and the rewards are shit so much so that you go negatives even on a win. So they announced these changes they made, they backtracked them when uh, they got the uh, backlash, then they released a very condescending and um, shit-headed uh, response essentially, um, which has a lot of decent points in it that do not reflect what is actually going on in the game. Um, they're trying to gaslight you into thinking that uh, things are okay. Uh, but also they're not happy with the review bombing apparently. Um, they want you to use the forums instead where they can you know, remove your posts and uh, lock them and stuff. So uh, what this has resulted in is essentially that the backlash has uh, removed the game from over positive to overwhelmingly negative. Uh, and uh, many of these uh, reviews are from uh, people with hundreds, if not thousands of hours in this game. Um, and it's well deserved because there are huge issues in it. The economy is among one of them. And something that has become clear to me since I posted my... Uh, Am I out of touch meme is that a lot of players, quite a lot of them, have quit the game because of the economy over the years. And I didn't know it was as bad as it is because I play lower to medium tiers, partly because uh, of the economy, partly because I'm very shit. Um, but it's become obvious that it is much worse than I ever knew or ever thought. And this has to change and uh, that is what people are asking for. So what do I think is the solution to this then? Well, very simply, Gaiji needs to make it so that premium in War Thunder is only a way to speed up the progress. Because right now, it doesn't even do that. It doesn't even make it possible to progress. In higher slash top tiers, you, with premium, you cannot fund the vehicle you're using with a average uh, kill-death ratio. You can see here something that Toba Colvin is working on that shows essentially the gap from prop planes to jets. Um, that show essentially that with the repair cost, the kill death ratio you need to actually break even with the vehicle from one death increases significantly, so much so that it flips. Flips from uh, less than one kill death ratio um, to repair it if you, if you die to one and a half. And that is only part of the problem. And that is not even progressing. So the negative reviews will continue coming as long as Gaijin are trying to force through these changes and uh, stay on, you know, with their head up there on us and uh, continue the same path they are. And which, there's not going to be any longevity uh, for this game if that's the way they're going. It has to improve. Otherwise, the game's going to die, or as they have been threatening, um, they'll uh, remove the game from Steam, which they're apparently already moved Steam from their... Uh, uh, supported platforms, which is just incredibly petty. To really drive home how many people and how significant this is, on the 26th of May, this Friday, um, people are just not going to play the game. Um, I'm not going to, but that's coincidental because I'm working on a World of Warships video. Uh, but I ask that you join in too, and from the 26th of May in two weeks, or as, you know, until this has been uh, improved, you don't play the game at all to drive how, how to drive home just how serious it is that they get a grip and f make an effort to fix the game you can already see a dip in players especially if you look at overall all they just had their max their all-time peak of all the players on steam and it's now going down and you can already tell that there's a lot of people that are skipping and not playing the game so just to close off when I used to play Raid Shadow Legends, around the time when they were sponsoring me, their monetization strategy was 
more forgiving and less predatory than War Thunder by a country mile. And that says a lot.